Hey everybody and welcome back to Death and Taxes. Uh we got something new from Mortiverse. Is what did we get? I feel like I Is it just the jackal head? Because we I feel like we just got the jackal head. Yeah, it must be the jackal head. Anyways, I still like this look. Let's go ahead and go into work today. All right. What we got? Man claims to have saved Earth from aliens. Uh, that good on you, whatever your name was. Archaeologist uh, stumbles, Im stumbles, impales themselves on the massive tusk of supposed giant ha 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 hamster. What? <laughs> Inventor drowns in the first attempt to start the construction of an underwater city. Oh, well, I guess we're not doing rapture. Uh, <laughs> burglar stumbles on a frighteningly complex array of traps during a break in dies from serious head trauma. Yeah, that that happens in home. That should have happened in home alone. Um, Chemistry puns gone wrong. Inmate at local jail stabbed to death. What? Why is it chemistry puns? I don't get it. Okay, anyways, goodbye. Uh, full Grim. Look here, Grim. Yeah, look here. All right. Uh, how about we try some brand new methods? Strengthening the e Equilibrium. Uh, I've got I have great faith in these techniques of a more structural nature. Okay. Quota for the day. A total of two humans have to die. The humans on the opposite ends of the profile bundle have to die. Yes, this may be the key. So you want me... You want me to kill these two? Right? Because it, it's it's based on how they're presented to me, right? Uh, okay, well. I'm going to set the two that I'm supposedly supposed to kill aside. It, it is two people have to die, right? A total of two humans have to die. Uh, the humans on opposite ends of the profile, uh, bundle have to die. Okay. You're... I don't like the lack of confidence. Also, ooh, now we got two little piggies. Two little piggies following me. Oh, so cute. Oh, I love you. Okay, anyways, um, let's see who we're supposed to be killing today. Stanislav Durov. 31-year-old typist. Stanislav works at Cosmopolis City Courthouse. Uh, they have a few goals in life other than becoming the world's fastest typist. Already their fingers run across a keyboard like bolts of lightning, but they feel there's more that could be achieved. Uh, they have few goals in life. Ah, okay, so that that's pretty much it for that that person. Okay, Caleb Sadi uh, Rendo, uh, 30 year old junior researcher. Right after graduation, Caleb went to work at the Acedia Institution, uh, where they have been researching strange experimental pathogens. The goal is to achieve a potential breakthrough in human cell regeneration. It's a pretty dangerous job, as it oftentimes involves the use of very sharp instruments. Okay. So, my problem here is if we kill the guy who works with contagious pa pathogens, is he going to die of a disease and he's going to have spread it? Or am I stopping him from potentially spreading a disease if I kill him? Questionable. Anyway, so those are the people that we're supposed to kill. Here are uh, the others. Rashida Matheos, 
37 years old diplomat. Rashida is a representative of Carthenia, a nation recovering from a major economic crash in Cosmopolis City for a state visit. Um, they've come to negotiate a mutually beneficial agreement. As they were being driven to City Hall, their vehicle was attacked by would-be assassins and rammed off the road. Okay, so... Hopefully they can figure... I mean, I, I'm okay with this person living. Hopefully they can figure out what's going on with their with their people and, and the financial crash. Amanda Samir. Uh, 51 years old. Editor-in-chief. Before Amandus uh, took over the Daily Moon, the newspaper was in decline. With ruthless determination, they turned the paper into the tabloid powerhouse we know today. Oh joy, oh joy of joys. Uh, while recklessly digging through the lives of others, they use, they've used the paper to suppress rumors about themselves. Uh, okay. I, I have no real, <sighs> listen, you seem like a kind of shitty person, but I have no moral judgments over you doing your job. Um, so I'm going to go with what he said. The, the two on the outside. Uh, I just unlocked an achievement that says this is fine. Uh, Amandis Hamir, you can live. And you can live. There we go. Perfect. I've also noticed I don't know if fate actually cares who's dying. I think he just cares about the raw number of people dying. Grim, my fellow colleague. The what? I have been deliberating a matter. Perhaps you can be of assistance. Should I become a writer? I could write many compelling works of fiction. I am an antique, after all. I have much experience. Sure, why not? Uh, I'm not. It, I am. Um, it's not really my place to say. Shrug. Can't be any worse than some writers. <laughs> some of the writers out there. <laughs> oh, I'll take a jab at myself. Hmm. <laughs> Cannot be worse than what? What do you have in mind? Oh, humans just publish all sorts of junk. <laughs> you know, I tried this computer game where you talk to your boss a little. <laughs> oh, it's a jab at the game makers. Oh. Game? Uh huh. Party? Yeah. Come now. I hardly think that counts as a real art form. Ooh. I shall continue my contemplation. But for now, it is time for daily feedback. Let's do it. All the files are in order. Cool. Excellent work. You are a testament to meticulousness. Thank you. <coughs> Meow, the cat mutters in contentment. Thank you. Well, off you go now. I must return to my deliberations. You know, doing the important things like debating with yourself whether you should write a book or not. A pleasure to see you ah, again. the plague doctor mask. Yes. Huh. Didn't know I still had this beaked eyesore. Ooh. I was at a gathering of some immensely wealthy idiots. Mm. Where I saw an absolute buffoon wear this as professional attire. Ooh. Just look at it. A weird long curve of a nose. And those stupid goggles. Ridiculous. Had to have it. So we plundered the whole lot of them. <laughs> Oh, it looks real stupid. Nice. I wanted it. For they soiled their trousers from fear. Then the mask came in real handy. Ha. <laughs> Love that. Love that. Uh, for those at home who don't know, uh, back in the day, plague doctors would wear these masks um, in order to uh, hopefully not catch the disease. Uh, they believed that some of, like, that the disease was transferred through smell, so they would, uh, put, 
like flowers and like uh, good like good scented things into the beak so that it would cut out the smell. Um, ooh, steampunk! Oh, I I I was enjoying me a good bit of steampunk. War, war never changes. Uh, <laughs> Chimkin! Oh my god! Oh my god, Chimkin's great. Uh, <laughs> I like steampunk, and you know what? It, it'll continue us in our tradition of red, red, and, red and yellow outfits. Let's see. Perfect. Steampunk it up with the hot dog. Uh... Hot dog <laughs> bow tie. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Here's what we do. Fucking uh, black robes and classic plague doctor. Oh, it looks perfect. All right. All right. And then let's go ahead and end the day. And back to work we go. The endless cycle. Oh, we got young researcher dead from a yet to, from a yet to be identified pathogen. Doctor's puzzled. Oh no! I hope it didn't spread. Um, another young adult harassed by a mysterious person. Is Cosmopolis City dealing with a serial stalker? The youth of today, immoral and lazy. We should reinstitute, reinstate harsher punishments. Ugh, no, I fucking hate old people. <laughs> uh, visiting diplomat, I don't mean, I kind of mean it. Uh, visiting diplomat escorted to safety after gunfight ensues between unknown assailants and law enforcement. Okay. Uh, typist bleeds trying to perform a demonic ritual summoning in order to gain supernatural typing skills. What? <laughs> Excuse? <laughs> oh, so that's how you were going to achieve that, apparently. Okay. Come on, come all. Ace pilots to host a dazzling air show. Okay, cool. Uh, tax evasion concerns local government. Possibly leading to cut, cuts in infrastructure funding. Okay. A fresh idea. I hope you are still well motivated from our performance discussion. We are trying out another new structural method. Uh, you will be required to demonstrate to uh, you will be required to demonstrate utmost precision. All humans in the bottom row have to die. Keep the chaos away, will you? Cheers, fate. Lovely. Okay. So all humans in the bottom row. That's you guys. Let's see what we got. Juan Alejandro Dominguez, a 56-year-old retired diplomat. Uh, Juan worked as a diplomat in southern Palagua uh, for over 20 years. Spending this time drinking heavily, yet they were never recalled from the position. Then they decided for an early retirement. These days, they work as a yacht captain, taking tourists dolphin spotting off the coast of Malaya. Uh, they still drink like a sponge. Lovely. Agnes Alsafir, 33 year old tax collector. Agnes does a thankless job of collecting tax from businesses and individuals on behalf of the local government. They get yelled at every day, but ensure everyone could enjoy public services like roads and street lighting. So this is literally in relation to the fucking thing that I just read about, where, about like concerns about infrastructure collapse because of uh, inability to get tax money. Uh, Dichale Smythe, uh, 41 year old supply chain coordinator. Uh, an efficient supply chain is the core of logistics, and Dichale, uh, being detail oriented, is proficient at optimizing exactly these kinds of pi pipelines. 
they're also excessively proud of this, which unfortunately has blinded them to their developing addiction to amphetamine-based focus aids. Oh, bud. Okay. Um, okay. Now let's see the people I'm supposed to let live. Uh, Fernardine Ho, uh, Lorca, 35-year-old barista. Uh, Fernandin, Fernandine Ho, I, I can't pronounce things, uh, loves coffee and enjoys crafting elaborate foam art. They're an avid supporter of bamboo cups, dishes, and utensils. In their free time, Fer Fernandine Ho likes, uh, bird watching, pirate films, and selling bootleg azure <laughs> uh, discs. Uh, they also have a modestly popular film review blog. You're fine. Uh, okay. Uh, Air Force Captain. Uh, Kevin Mason, 35 years old, Air Force Captain. Uh, Kevin, born and raised at the McIntyre Air Base. Uh, loves the thrill of flying planes in tense combat situations. Uh, their family has a history of military service. Kevin is dedicated to their spouse and 77-year-old child, uh, rarely taking any time for themselves. <coughs> so uh, there was something about a, a, an air show, which makes me think I really should not kill that person. Um, Yataro Suwa. Uh, 46-year-old swim co swimming coach, Yutaro, uh, is a former world champion swimmer who now coaches aspiring new swimmers. Although they hoped their teenage offspring would take more interest in swimming, the youth is lately increasingly interested in theater production. Okay. Uh, this just reminds me of the, the whole, uh, we need harsher punishments thing. Uh, okay. Jack Cujo, uh, 32-year-old office worker. Jack has lived a great and kind life. They've been working in the local Beats and Brothers uh, consultancy firm for seven years, ever since graduating college. Recently, they've been looking for a way to turn their, turn their life around in order to stop being an office drone. Okay. Um... Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. You're in the bottom row. You're not really, you seem kind of like you were a douche when you were working and, and now you're, you're just continuing to be a douche. So uh, we'll go ahead and mark you like that. I'm going to I'm gonna be a little rebellious since he told me to be a little rebellious. I'm gonna go go ahead and say live for the tax collector because we need to make sure that infrastructure doesn't collapse. Also, was there anything about the fucking uh, supply chain? Come on. Okay. Um. Young researcher, yep, okay. Uh, another young adult harassed serial stalker. Uh, were, were any of these people, like, definitely our stalker? Uh, uh, oh, come on. Um, the youth of today are immoral and lazy. Um, uh, let's see. Ace pilots to host air show, tax evasion, concerns local government. Um, okay. Nothing, nothing was mentioned at all about supply chain. Sorry. Um, okay. 
I'm going to then say one of the people from the top is going to die now. <laughs> and I'm going to say it's going to be you. Since you're, you're not supportive of your child's theater career. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you're fine. You are also fine. And I hope that you are not secretly the stalker. That's where we're going to leave that. <coughs> okay. I want to see if he is like, you didn't kill everyone in the bottom row. I know that you didn't do what I said. Or if he's going to be like, well, that's the correct number of profiles, so that's all good. Deathspawn, I have been ruminating on the humans. They vex me. Why okay. do they exist? Their presence still seems unnecessary. Would it all not be simpler without them? Uh, maybe, but it's not our call to make. Perhaps. We do still hold some control over the levers. Uh... Let's see. Honestly, it's all over my head. I really don't see this line of thought going anywhere. I'm just here to follow orders. Couldn't humans achieve immortality somehow? No, absolutely not. I, I, I'll be honest, I really don't see this line of thought going anywhere. Oh, never mind my ramblings. I acknowledge your patience and loyalty. Actually, I do have thoughts on loyalty. I am all ears, Grim. Don't you think this flows too one way? Uh, it doesn't seem fair because I've got basically no agency. Uh, it's nothing special. I just like doing what I'm told. I, I will say, don't you think this flows too one way? Such is the nature of loyalty. Uh, hardly. You're just arrogant. Always demanding, never giving back. Damn. Hmm. Nah, nah, we're in, we're in. Ha, grand. A reaper demanding its due. Unfortunately, you will just have to live with it. <laughs> live. See what I... Where is your sense of humor? Oh, you're being a dick. Well, I appreciated the discourse. Good night. Wait, I didn't even get my daily review. Oh, right. Slipped my mind. Well, if it is that important to you. I, I want it. It seems you marked the proper amount of profiles. Well done, and all that. Now depart. I have things to contemplate. So he is... He does just see the number. It's, it's, it's not about who... Or if all the other requirements are met. It's just the number. Ye drive a hard bargain, mate. <laughs> but Mortimer does love a good scuffle. Ears of the beast. Ye know why I was the scourge of the seas? Why? Because ain't nothing out there that frightens me. Interesting. Once we looted an ancient tomb, for gods and kings long forgotten. And you know what, matey? Found there the most particular set of ears. Wernum gives ye supernatural hearing. Happened to overhear a mutineer plot that very night. Ooh. So I threw them all right overboard. Plotting with the fishes now they are. <laughs> hey. Whatever works for you. Let's see. Oh my god, it's a cat person. I thought I thought it was gonna be like a cat head, but no, it's it's a it's a it's it's a cat girl. It's a cat girl. I'm good. You know what? I'm just gonna go back. You know what? I prefer crow. Crow and a non. There we go. Bit more depth to the to the blacks and the grays. There you go. Let's do this. What we got? 
read this. Tidings, Grim. Life should not be too predictable. Do you not agree? Uh, uh, we could use a little bit of alteration and alternation every so often. And I have developed just the thing for it. Every other profile has to die. You must now return to my research fate. Wow. He really do just be throwing out literally anything. Uh, <laughs> death of swim coach. Another blow against the dynamically mobile, uh, the dynamically mobile lifestyle. People becoming increasingly inactive. Okay, well, eh. uh, fancy flying convinces government to increase funds of all-purpose fighter aircraft research. Uh, research has begun struggling due to aircraft being bad at literally everything. <laughs> wow. Retired diplomat uh, dies of cirrhosis. Declaims it was a life well spent before passing. You mean the life you spent drinking away. Uh, the military industrial complex is tackling progressive issues by having their first ever female CEO. Oh, lovely. Uh, oh, wait. So he told me every other profile has to die. But where does it start? Is it, is it, does it start at one? Or does it start at two? What? Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll separate it into groups. And we will judge the four versus four. And we may also make our own decisions because all I know is that four people have to die. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, Carrie Haven. Uh, 32-year-old botanist. Uh, gardening is Carrie's favorite pastime and also their line of work. They enjoy growing edible exotic plants and experimenting with dis different recipes. They're also an expert in natural poisons. Interesting. Uh, Theophania Einer. Uh, 40-year-old CEO. Are you the first female CEO of the military industrial complex? Theophania is the latest heir of the Einer family. Uh, the family started off providing security almost a hundred years ago with their middle initial monitor C. Okay. With, with their initial... With their middle initial? What did I read? Uh, with their initial... Monitor C consulting firm. Uh, over time, they acquired a number of factories and grew into the arms provi providing conglomerate known as Sundower Security Services. Okay, so you are the military industrial complex CEO. Uh, okay, kind of okay with you dying. Uh, <laughs> let's see, Angus Armitage. Uh, 37-year-old policy consultant. There's nothing like the smell of freshly mined coal in the morning. At least, that's what Angus believes. They consult politicians on all energy-related policies, always advocating for more drilling, more mining, more cutting. Clean energy is for losers, apparently. Okay, you you also can stay in this pile. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kasper Sursalo. Salu. A uh, 26 year old teacher. This prominently right handed teacher. Uh, this prominently right handed teacher uh, enjoys playing a lot of tabletop role playing games in the vein of beasts and swords and cavernous horrors of death. They are deathly afraid of bugs, critters, and other such crawling beasts. Oh, it will be so sad if you, if you end up biting the big one, my friend. Uh, okay. Let's see who I have in my live file. Uh, Gunther Felic, a uh, 40-year-old journalist. More often than not, Gunther uh, finds themselves in dangerous situations due to their curious nature and profession. Uh, they haven't had a chance to build 
a family because of their risky life choices, but hope to settle down eventually. Uh, at the moment, they're undercover, working for a minor drug lord, trying to expose corrupt police. You live, my friend. You live. Uh, Gabriel de la Corsa, uh, 49-year-old valet. Gabriel is very dignified. They work as a valet in a mansion and are admired by all the other workers as they make no movements which could be construed as redundant. Uh, once they were the suspect of a gruesome murder, even though it would be impossible for them to be the murderer. Would it? Would it now? Um, Tecumseh Gold, a uh, 65-year-old professor. Uh, Tecumseh uh, is a renowned professor of mathematics who enjoys challenging their students with nigh unsolvable uh, equations. It's the best way to force them into being more inventive and creative, they say. Uh, lately, they've started tutoring a gifted janitor with a troubled past. Wait, is... <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Wait, is that... Is that fucking Robin Williams in Goodwill Hunting? Is is that is that is that what I'm reading? A am I wrong? Uh, okay. Uh, hi, what? Ali Yalway, uh, Yalaway. No idea. A uh, 19-year-old stunt person. Hi, what? Uh, grew up physically very active, and they've always loved dangerous danger and safety in equal measures. That is why they decided to pursue a career in film stunts. Recently, they were hired as a stunt double for a famous film star in an upcoming action blockbuster. Okay. I'm sorry, my dude. I, but I, I, I think I'm going with I'm going with fate on this one. Yep. <laughs> Unless he's going to be like, I meant the other. <laughs> I meant every other, not other every. <laughs> okay. You know something really funny? I got this fucking oops thing. And I feel like I don't, I don't need it. There, there are no options that are actually considered mistakes. At least I think. Grim, welcome. Remember when I told you of my idea to become an author? I think I have reached a conclusion. <laughs> I'm all ears, metaphorically speaking. Now, you might find this shocking. I might. Truly, I have decided to set myself upon the path of grand artistry. All right. I shall compose a novel most illustrious. One that will explain everything. Uh, cool. Can I read it? Certainly. Once it is finished, you will be the recipient of the first copy of the first printing. Oh, hell anyway, yeah. We have some official business to take care of, yes? Uh, the tedium of profiles. Nothing amiss here, as far as I can see. Your adherence to the rules is admirable. Now I bid thee goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. Hmm. Interesting. We got anything down here? Batten down the hatches. There's a storm of sail. A storm of sails. Academic visage. Interesting. We don't really plunder educational organizations, eh? You can't rob the ideas hiding inside the brain. Well, usually. So where did I get these fancy scholarly glasses, you ask? Where'd Once, you get them? They belonged to a royal merchant. Okay. Whose caravan I held at gunpoint. Hmm. So he made Naturally. me an offer I couldn't refuse. Tis be a powerful artifact, turning one into a formidable business powerhouse. 
How'd you think I got a hold of this shop? With glasses, obviously. Uh, let's save our money. All right. Yo, hey what up? There. What you up to, Kevin? What do you mean? What now? The suffering. How many lives have you taken? Do you even count? It's no. To look a bit grim, ain't it? I guess that's already in the name. Yes. Grim. Reaper. Cool. You're weird. That's my name, so what? <laughs> I'm not hurting anyone personally. Uh, not my place to rattle the status quo. Uh, that's my name, so what? Nothing. Believe it's for a good cause, as always. It's not as if life and death are directly in your control. It's not. No wonder fate picked you for the corrupting pot. You got shit to say? Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, are you okay? You don't seem like it. Oh, ah! Oh! <laughs> Just imagining it going th going through all these like human faces and being like, "Oh man, that looks really bad. I wonder what comes next." No. <laughs> uh. Not bad. I kinda I'm kinda I'm, I'm digging this. I'm I'm digging the look. Let's see. Oh oh yeah. Old timer. <laughs> Ugh. Let's see. Nah, 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 I can't dig this. A letter. Grim, I will keep this short. I am suspecting a systemic bias in our balancing methodology. Uh, the last room, three humans coming from the facts have to die. Um. Yo, uh, did you guys catch which ones those are? I am counting on the accuracy of your judgment. Make it count. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're, we're, we're gonna do. We're gonna do a real quick pause on this, and I'm literally going to uh, look at the recording <laughs> so that I know which one it is. I'll be right back. Well, uh, <laughs> I did look at the recording. And, uh, you know what I discovered? They all appear at the same time! Um... So I really don't know what the, the last three are. Okay, uh, I guess... Uh, let's look at the phone. Uh, weeding out bad cops and planting a bright future for our, uh, planting a bright future for our our town, an expose on corrupt law enforcement. Uh, municipal gardener found dead in their home, cause of death unclear. Mm. Uh, charming real life tale of a maths professor helping a young maths genius to be turned into a to be turned into a film. <laughs> okay, yep. Uh, the part, the part, the art of dying uh, provides little in the way of sense, plot, and characters, but the action coordination and stunt work are excellent. 
Uh, stop performer urges people uh, toward a healthier lifestyle. Good. Good for you. Uh, local wildlife. Reportedly happy this morning for some reason. <laughs> what? Uh, Cos Cosmopolis suburbs announce record levels of clean air uh, recovering from decades of coal exploitation. Yes. Uh, Sundowner taking a massive hit in the stock exchange today as CEO accidentally shot during a drone misfire. Boop. Uh, a freak... A freak emu related accident. That took me way too long to figure out what the fuck that said. Um, a freak emu related accident claims the life of a young teacher. Ah. Oh. Uh, fracking linked to earthquakes. New research confirms. Okay. So. I'm going to assume that by the last three, he means the bottom three. And that this would be the people who are supposed to die, and these are the people who are supposed to live. Okay, let's see who we got, though. Uh, start with you. Uh, Gordon Onagoye, uh, 44 year old pharmacist Gordon got through medical school mostly by cheating as such they barely remember what they were taught uh when people ask for consultations at the pharmacy they usually say a lot of random smart sounding words they also often sell the medicine randomly oh buddy no um oil fracker uh, oh, these are the people. These are the people who are supposed to die. Okay, Rajesh Nakavi, uh, 32 year old oil fracker. Uh, Rajesh is in the fracking industry for the money, and no cries from environmentalists will make them rethink. They are determined to rise on the career ladder and become the boss of the fracking firm someday. Yeah, you're gonna die. Um,. Glory Mag Magnuson Hilbert, uh, 42 year old historian. Uh, when, when still in their early 20s, Glory harbored some edgy and extreme views on society and the world in general, up until the point that they grew up and calmed down, readjusting their innate interest in societal issues to gain greater knowledge in history and the myriad structures that affect our lives. I don't know what you mean by <laughs> Glory Magnuson Helbert. Yeah, no. I, I I I haven't been reading the fucking D Do not go gentle into that good night. <laughs> what? Samuel Van Selak. Why though? <laughs> Uh, okay, Samuel Van Selak, uh, 44 year old editor. Uh, Samuel is an editor with a tragic past, one they've always kept to themselves. Every day it gnaws at them, causing intense sorrow that can never be alleviated. To numb it all, they, they have become addicted to painkillers, which often cause them to hallucinate mythological things. Dude, this is Alan Wake. This is Alan Wake, isn't it? Sayori? I, I don't know how to pronounce anything. Uh, Shimura. 38-year-old uh, project manager. They manage a big software development project at Glamazon. <laughs> yeah! Uh... <laughs> Although they have zero idea how software development works, their uncle, the CEO, sees a bright future ahead for them. Um, I mean, okay, cool. Uh, Lucian Carnot, 64-year-old professor. Lucian uh, has been teaching undergrads for nearly 30 years now. 
They are well known for the their welcoming demeanor, yet whispers travel about shady and inappropriate deeds with students. <laughs> Reggie Roback, uh, 32 year old, unemployed. Reggie graduated from clown school a long time ago, but the search for a paying clown gig has been unfruitful. They make, uh, they keep making balloon animals in their tiny apartment in the fear of losing the finesse. Uh, they also stay in character 24 seven, which some people might find creepy. Yeah. Let's see. Um, uh, 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 okay, here's the thing. I really want to kill Lucius. I, I, uh, <laughs> this sounds bad. This sounds bad. And I feel like, the you're... You're fine, and you you die. Okay, uh, that's that's how I'm gonna do this. Uh, you'll live. You'll live. You'll live. And come on, out of my way. And you're fine. Go for it. Live on, my pretties. Okay, what we got? Hello. Uh, why are you here? It's... Oh, right. Yeah. The daily... Always in positions when I have important research to perform. What? Uh, let us get on with it. Dude. I see the exact amount of profiles necessary. Yeah. Good job, I guess. Cool. Yes. That should suffice, I imagine. Can I ask you more questions, please? Questions. Questions, Grim. <sighs> Fine. I have trouble finding inspiration anyway. Perhaps your questions will assist me. Make sure they are deep and meaningful. What do you think dying is like? No idea. Our immortality precludes us from such knowledge. Yet... I imagine it would be a pleasant release. But what if death is extremely bad and unpleasant? In that case, at least one only dies once. But more likely, death is just nothingness. And nothing, being nothing, has no inherent positive or negative effects. Hmm. Any other questions? Is there an afterlife? Not in the sense that humans consider it, no. No peaceful, illuminated paradise. No endless suffering in the grasp of cosmic horrors. What if the afterlife is a dating game where you must charm strange, monstrous gods? Is this a reference to fucking Sucker for Love? Wait. Grim. <laughs> Meet your unmaker. I got an achievement. <laughs> that is just stupid. <laughs> uh, do you think mortals have some drive towards death? Because they seem to find themselves in life-threatening situations all the time. They do often seem to willingly throw their lives away for stupid reasons. Life is unpredictable and lacks an innate meaning. I imagine it is up to them to make their lives meaningful. Hmm. Even if it sometimes ends up being fatal. Any other questions? Can language even deal with the concept of death? Unlikely. Uh, that doesn't stop art and literature from trying. One must make do with what they have. Art does seem an attempt of immortalization, as humans feel the ever-present breath of death. 
a hybrid of entertainment, meaning-making, and the preservation of a facet of identity, carved into matter that might outlast the being itself. Mm. At least until all matter ceases to be. Uh... <laughs> that moment sure can't come fast enough. <laughs> uh, great, so art is pointless. Uh, yeah, all art is pointless. Yes, get out of here. Uh, when's that going to happen? Any day now. Any Interesting. Questions? Actually, I got Grand. nothing. Goodbye, Grim. The muse beckons. I feel like there were several questions that I had that Grim is just not asking. Like, you don't care about who I actually kill. It's it's obvious at this point. <laughs> Let's see what we can buy. Come Got anything? Me. You're looting. All beware. Ah, man. Uh... Yeah, let's buy the ethereal resonator. Shiver yes. me timbers. Tis a tale most sordid. I dare not even recall the details. But since ye wish to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. Please do. There I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown. And I saw this in an elevator. Went in, tore it out, and made a run for it. <laughs> the device has immense power. Ye turn the knob. Infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music. Yeah, yeah, infinite pleasant noises. Plus a little bit of. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm not feeling the the head. Mm. Let's go ahead and we'll go back to the the plague doctor mask masquerade. Yeah, there we go. Classy, classy as fuck. And back to work we go. Oh. Absolute silence. Here we go. I'm just going to listen to this now. Okay. The assignment. An eldritch a waft of air passed through my office earlier. Certainly a sign of disorder. We could not determine the correct amount of humans to mark today, so I leave it up to you. Any humans who seem suspicious have to die. You will figure it out, yes? Keep your eyes open, fate. What? Okay, uh, let's figure out what's going on on Earth. Local tech company, Glamazon, under fire after app reporting uh, election results leaks voter data. Oh. Angry editor uh, asks, er, uh, angry editor arrested for carrying out a violent spree of vengeance. Damn. Uh, damages from fracking uh, deemed to be too excessive and expensive. Government vows to shift towards developing better renewable energy sources. Yes. Uh, welcome to our history, a new series on the structures behind the shifts and changes of society. Okay. Uh, so, let's see. Things I should probably keep in mind for today. Angry editor. Arrested after murder spree. Apparently, a violent spree. Uh, that's probably all. Uh, though, I don't know if that was having to do with yesterday or today. Okay, Aaliyah Fokina, uh, 27 year old photojournalist. Aaliyah used to be a war correspondent. Nowadays, most of their time is spent searching for feel good stories. 
They recently got hired to the Daily Clarion, uh, where the editor in chief tasked them uh, with identifying a peculiar vigilante of sorts uh, who keeps running around the city in a manatee themed costume. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I have to figure out who the manatee is? Uh, okay. I think you're probably fine. Uh, oh no. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna put you down. Uh, <laughs> why is everything always in my way? Uh, Sahira Al Safari, uh, 40 year old bus driver. Sahira is a downtown bus driver. They are pulling double shifts to save money for opening uh, their, uh, their own vegan muffin shop, I guess. Uh, they can barely make it to the bathroom or eat during their breaks. When they get home, they collapse, collapse in exhaustion. Oh, buddy. Okay. Uh, you, 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 you may need to just, that may be mercy. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Kathy Kowalski, uh, 33 year old nurse born to migrant parents. Kathy was expected to go far but never became a doctor. They toil long hours at the local hospital and love their job while not being gentle with needles around old patients who accidentally touch their butt. When not working, Kathy lives in a tiny apartment doing laundry, doing laundry, sleeping and eating takeout. Uh, I'll put you in the you're okay pile. Uh, let's see. Stuart Pendulum, uh, 32 year old singer songwriter, a singer songwriter who takes, uh, who after years of hard work still doesn't seem to catch a break. Their original material just doesn't grab people, which is why they became an impersonator of the famous singer Cathal, Cathal Cisip, uh, also known as The Count. Uh, Elvis. Okay. Uh, their career seems to be. Uh, on an upswing. Okay. Uh, you seem fine. Uh, Ishir Malik, 30, 39 year old dairy farmer. Ishir uh, noticed their cows were acting strange. Then the milk started getting a green tinge, and the taste could only be described as licking, like licking a battery. Despite the protests of their spouse, they, they're always keen to investigate any and all oddities life throws their way. Uh, yeah, I'm just worried that you might accidentally pass tainted milk into the, into the food supply. So, uh, sorry. Uh, I, I don't have a, a specific quota. I'm going to say the rest of you can live. Like the rest of you seem fine. Yes, go for it. All right, and we'll go ahead and get our performance review. Or will we? He's gone. He's gone. Let, let's up in. Oh, it's Lady Pottington again. Okay, as you enter, you notice the that Fate's office is empty aside from Lady Pottington snoozing, snoozing on the table. Glare <laughs> a cat spiteful jerk. Oh no, this again. Uh hey kitty cat, you are so cute. Uh alright. Oh no, this again. The old fashioned phone suddenly rings with an ear piercing metallic clatter. A familiar voice calls from the static. Haha, <laughs> grim, jolly good. As you may have noticed, I am absent. I decided for a short vacation. Again? It is a weekend. After all, and the free time will be essential for research. For the novel, yes? Uh, hey, why can't I get a vacation? Uh, let's see. Hey, why can't I get Hello, a vacation? Grim, are you there? Uh, curse this useless apparatus. It never works when I need it. So, perhaps you are wondering about the nature of vacations in our profession. Well... Those of the highest management only. Bullshit. I mean, 
It is not as if you need one. Technically, you are just an amalgamation of ingredients. You are not even alive. You're a prick. But what of the conduct overview, you may be thinking? To be honest, I cannot be bothered at the moment. I am certain you have done well enough. Fun. Now, I must go submerge myself. Toodles, Grim. So... So does it even matter what I choose? Does it? I don't think it does. I You're don't... such a scoundrel. There should be a bounty on your head. Hey, 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 hey. Be nice. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and stop in on the Cerberus Den. Uh, we'll go ahead and talk to these lovely people next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.